Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our Breath of the Wild journey. Last time, we did a decent amount of shrines and uh, ended up here in the Zora's Domain, mostly by accident. But before we get to move on with things, which first I'm going to put on my actual armor. If we get, like, the full suit, that would be nice for swimming. But I figured, uh, let's go ahead and finish this shrine, which we... Oh no, blood moon time. Well, at least I'm not journeying out there right now. We can have a blood moon inside. But yeah, we never actually did this shrine, we just activated it so that if I wanted to leave, I could teleport back easily. But, let's see what test there shall be in this here place. And then afterwards, we will go on various adventures and some such. So obviously this is going to be a cryosis one. I wonder if this can... It's hard to really see. So at least partially works. And I'm fairly certain that we should be able to take on the things of this world and such. Take on the, what's it called? The Lionel. We should be able to take on the Lionel. Oh, we should be able to jump back up, hopefully. Yeah, we should be able to take on the Lionel that we need to get some lightning stuff from. I don't really think I'm going to use you much. You're probably very good, but I can get more of you. But yeah, other than... Ah, oh, darn. Oh well, we can just walk up more. Because all the balls aren't spawning anymore. What? I guess all the balls got stuck. That's amusing. I didn't even do anything and <laughs> the, the bloody things just got trapped by their own accord. Hilarious. Well, if nothing else, let us... Uh, bop you off, I guess. This is basically Super Pachinko. Because I need it to land all the way to the left, I do believe. So we'll try to guide it. Over there, so we can guide it some more. Hmm. I guess you... Well, I guess we could push it over this. But then it would like... Uh, hmm. Well, since all the balls are stuck of their own accord. Yeah, because it would fall down here if we blocked it. It should come down here and we could pop it up. And then I could set another one here to block it. Well, let's see how things go. But as we do this puzzle, to kind of continue the funny ahas that I was talking about last time about fan fiction, hilariously, I stumbled upon a. Uh, come on. Come on. Oh yeah, I forgot. I was gonna do this. So I guess we can't actually push it, so... The way I plotted it was... For the best. Come on, come on, come on, come on! 
And I shall destroy you. Hmm. Actually, just to be safe, I'm gonna remake you so that I don't accidentally destroy you. And now, pop you up. Come on, game, please. Game, no. Shit. Oh, wait. Actually, perfect. Because I can do this. Uh, that's probably too much, but... Huzzah! Now we need to just gently whop it back in. Actually, yeah, that's... Kind of gets it there without risking too much. Come on, I can push it. I can push it! I can push it with the velocity of Link. I can push it in. <laughs> I forgot that the, like, stasis rune is a thing sometimes. Mostly because I just never use it. Which is hilarious, because I used it all the time in Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. And now we're halfway to another heart. That much closer to getting the Master Sword. Well, let's see. After this, we should probably head over to the waterfall because Sidon, Sidon, said that there should be a waterfall to go the way that we want. Which I guess... Hmm. I just wonder which one it is. Because if that's like big cliffs this way... Probably not. It's hard to see in the rain. Hmm. So it's either that one... Or that one. And I don't know which to do. Probably that one, I would assume, because it seems more like... It seems less likely to be, like, cordoned off. Again, if I can just, like find a good way to at least see. This entire place feels like it is an OSHA nightmare. And Sedan is gone. Everything is fine here, is it? Hello and welcome. Zora's Domain is currently searching for a Hylian like you. That said, this Hylian, I get the feeling I've seen him before. Perhaps a long time ago. Such is life, isn't it? So yeah, from the looks of things, it will be the waterfall in the back, unless... Or actually, should... Can I actually... I think I can reach that one, of which I should remember. Put on the... Zora suit so I can actually climb up waterfalls. Uh... Pot? Pot. And there's a quest here. Who are you? And what doth thou need? Good morning. You're Link, right? Why do you ask? Ah. Prince Sidon ran off for the eastern gate. He was shouting something like, I'm off to stop the divine beast. Link the Hylian is coming with me. Mm -hmm. I assume that means you're going up Mount po uh, Ploimus in search of shock arrows. Yes. Mm -hmm. If so, I've requested is somewhat related. There's a red-maned monster called a Lionel that lives on Ploimus Mountain. 
I really need a picture of a lino. It can be a picture of any red, uh, red ma maned lino, not just the one on the mountain. So what do you say? Can you get me a picture? Sure. I'm glad we settled this so quickly. See, there's this fool in the domain who goads people into jumping off the Shatterback Point on Ploymus Mountain. It's an incredibly dangerous jump, and it, this guy pressures people into jumping off by questioning their courage. He's a real bottom feeder. If this keeps up, someone is surely going to wind up horribly injured. How do you describe Phoenix Wright without saying the title, A Bisexual Lawyer is so bad as his job that he needs help from a girl who uses the power of cleavage form possession and his boyfriend rival friend? I think you've said something like that before, but... Eh, uh, you're a lawyer man on lawyer man adventures through japan -ifornia. I need a picture of a lionel to show everyone how scary they are. That way, maybe people will stop going up there. Does that answer your question, Link? I don't think I even asked a question. I'll leave the details to you. Just bring me a picture of a lionel so I can describe them in detail. Sure thing. I wish that will do that to hopefully remind me. So up the Ploymus Mountain we go. Should probably move. Uh, use the spear. Not against the actual Lionel, because that would kick my ass. Hello, God person. Yes, sir. East Gate is all clear, sir. Oh, well, if it isn't Master Link, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? We used to play together at the, all the time. That was a hundred years ago. My name is Gaddison, the Hylian that Prince Sidon brought here. Don't tell me that it was you, Master Link. And what's more, you don't seem to have changed much in the last one hundred years. Oh, but I shouldn't be making idle chit-chat just now. I'm supposed to be fulfilling my officially appointed duty by keeping watch at the East Gate. I must maintain my surveillance of the Eastern Reservoir Lake. We can chat later. I find it funny that, like, all the, like... People who were young a hundred years ago are like, Oh yeah, it's Link. Nice to see you, man. All the people that were older and are now decrepit are like, Ah, oh, that bastard Link, he dare shows his face again. This seems funny. You'd think one young person would hold a grudge. Up, well, up the waterfall we go, I suppose. Up the Doom Day Falls. Whoosh. It doesn't even cost stamina. All this because I wear, wear, I'm wear, wearing a chest piece. Utterly magnificent. Why don't they make these and sell them all over the place? Well, I guess the Zoras do want to keep their, like, uh, superiority of swimming. But still... Ah, it's a, a reedy deedy. Because I don't think this is one we've read before. Seems out of the way. What doth thou read? History of the Zora Addendum 2. Prince Sidon's Great Escape. There was once a gr giant octorok in Hatino Bay. Large as a mountain which terrorized the village's fishers. Hearing of the distress, Prince Sidon went forth to personally eliminate the offending octorok. But this Octorok was a tricky beast. After the prince dodged one of the stones it spat, it inhaled him whole. Such had been the fate of many strong warriors who went to slay the Octorok, not one who had come back alive. Just as it seemed Prince Sidon would be counted among them, the giant Octorok twisted in pain. The tip of a silver scale spear pierced the Octorok's stomach from within, revealing itself as the source of the beast's agony. Incredibly, Prince Sidon had fought his way out of s by stabbing the spear over and over into the monster's stomach. Unable to bear the pain, the Octorok coughed up the prince and scrambled to escape. Ever since, the fishers of Atino Bay have passed down this heroic tale, the prince who slew the fell Octorok. Good for Sidon. I just realized I have not cooked anything, so... If we suffer pain and death, we suffer pain and death. We'll just need to be careful. Uh, maybe I should use the previous Lionel bow that I got from another Lionel that I killed. And that was back when I had like four hearts. So I shouldn't be terrible with this, but you never know. 
Darn you, dragonfly. How many shock arrows do we have? Because they said that we'd need about 20. And I'm going to go up there. And I'm going to kill the bastard. I will eat him whole. There has to be some psychopaths who are like, yes, I would eat a centaur. You know, in the non-sexy way. Now that makes me wonder if there are people out there who have hunted, like, apes and gorillas and orangutans and such for meat. For sustenance. That would be disturbing. Okay, good. Whoop. You are a very angry man. Let's see. What's a good weapon? I'll use a nice broadsword. Haha! I triple jumped. I am now Mario. Dang it, bastard. Hmm. Yep, I do not have much to eat. I am Le Fool. Okay, somehow that missed. That's not what I wanted, game. The game did things against my will. That's annoying. I hate you, game. Why can't you act like a normal Lionel, you bastard? Alright. Just wish that the camera would be less wonky. Game, for fuck's sake. Do as I command, not as I do. I feel like the Flurry Rush should have activated a lot more against this guy in those other jumps. Very rude game. Like that one feels like it shouldn't have been a flurry rush. Smack you in the face. How dare you take so many attacks. Aha! That one definitely felt like I should have been hit. Alright, I'm surprised that you didn't actually hit me. And now I shall smack you to death. That would have blown up in my face and killed me. Die, fool. Give me your shit. Of course we're gonna take that. We need all the shields we can get, and that is a good shield. And now that should be more than enough shock arrows. That's kind of funny. It just has a shock arrow in up off the ground like that. Well, these are free shock arrows. Why not take them all? Why does why is that like the only Lionel to just be like, ah, I'm just gonna be up here shooting f these lightning arrows all over the place. 
Where does he even get all of these arrows? He didn't even shoot any of the arrows at me. That's actually funny. He had ample opportunity to shoot me with arrows. But instead he just, like, bl tried to blast me with fire. What the hell is that? Jump at your own risk! Well, let's see. Where does the game want me to go? Not there. We have to go... <laughs> Basically, we have to go... Uh, no. Wrong damn thing. This is the one we need to go to. I am coming, husbando! I've killed the Lionel and stolen all of its shit. Ah, they have a bed up here. Do, is there a cooking pot? There should be a cooking pot too. Damn it, why is there no cooking pot? That is what I desperately need. A level 40, hey? Now that's extra good. But darn, there's no cooking pot. That would be what I really need. Although I suppose I could jump back down to Zora's Domain, use a cooking pot there, cook various things. Mostly because I do not think... that... Well, especially because it this leads right back anyway. So instead of going towards the waterfall, I can come down here. Aha, yes, perfect. Because I do believe that one of the places, the stores, had a cooking pot that I can steal. Oh, and I can also turn this in. I took a picture of the Lino. Hello, Link. How's that Lino mission coming along? I have your picture. Oh, wow, please show me. <coughs> wow. <coughs> My apologies. That sound was not very dignified, was it? But pardon me, but I'm all better now. That Lionel, how terrifying. Oh, one look at this, and I doubt anyone would get reckless ideas of visiting Polymus Mountain. It's Ploymus, not Polymus, but my brain wants to say it that way. Thank you. I'll tell the children of the domain about this. Maybe that will scare them away from the mountain. All right, now for your reward. The Zora Greaves! How do you... Why do you have them? No, interesting. It's been passed down the generations. These Zora Greaves were once made by skilled craftsmen of by order of an ancient Zora king. Now they're fairly common. Oh, that's funny. So you're giving me the ancient one. As you may know, East Reservoir Lake was created in collaboration between Hylians and Zora. After East Reservoir Lake was finished, we made Zora Greaves as a token of friendship for Hylians who came to visit. Aww. But over time, the number of Hylians visiting the domain dwindled, and my father had to close his armor shop. These Zora Greaves here were the last pair left in the stock room when he closed up the shop. Wearing these, even a Hylian can swim as well as a Zora. That said, these would be a wasted on me. They're only useful for a Hylian like you. Please take good care of them. Thank you very much. Definitely handy. Need to come down here. Cooking pot. Cooking pot. Hello. I'm here for the cooking pot. Let's see. Because if I do two mushrooms... And three of these, what do we get? Ooh, nine hearts. What happens if we do it with two meat? And three of these! Oh. 
15! Ha ha ha. Utterly magical. I'll need to be look on the lookout for all of these. These are utterly magnificent. I guess we'll make another one of these in case we're ever in real dire straits. Just got to max out a bunch of our stuff for heals. These are our, like, we've taken damage in a boss fight, we should down these. And then, of course, we'll make some just normal health recovery ones. I wish I could, like, mass produce these. Like, so I would like to make this many dishes of it. It is kind of interesting that you can do it this way, but also feels like it could stand to be a bit better. Let's see, is there any, like, non-food item that we can make into an elixir to make it really good? So there's... We'll make a... Against cold elixir. Let's see, what else? If I break that into food, there's a heat resistance. Replenishes stamina. Ah, stamina. Where are the crickets? We need to turn these into many stamina recoveries. Stamina recovery. Just gotta make a bunch of stamina recovery. I wonder if there's an outfit that makes your, like, cooking and elixir mixing better. I'll try to make just a few more, especially because they're all over the place in quality. This way we can be prepared. There we go. We've got health. We've got many things. And now we just need to not fall to our doom. That would be bad. Now we just need to head down the same gate. Meet up with our boy. And then after that, we will see about doing a bunch of shrines. After we take down Varuta. And then maybe I can focus on getting my stamina up as well. Oh, we already talked to Sagan. He was the demon man, and he's gonna strike us down for what we did. Maybe if we beat Varuta, they will be nice to me. Hmm. And one thing that we can maybe do after beating Varuta is try to find the... Zora Helm. Like that one diddly D was talking about. Apparently, my Zora Helm that I was given for defeating a Lionel. Well, I did it again, bitches. Sidon, my Sidon. Captain, my Captain. Sidearm, my sidearm. My dear man, what doth thou say? 
glad to see you're all you're ready to go, Link. <laughs> Twinkle smile. Are you ready for this? Do you have your Zora armor and enough shock arrows? I'm ready, my man. Wonderful! You never cease to amaze, Link. Now then, let us go and appease that divine beast as one. Here we go! Gaze now upon the divine beast's back. Do you see those glowing pink orbs? You will need to shoot each of them with a shock arrow. With your Zora armor, you now have the ability to ascend waterfalls. So I shall take you right up the side of the divine beast, and from there you can swim up and take aim. I know you can do it. I believe in you! Now hurry up and get on my back. I'm ready, my man. Good answer. Let's get going! Okay, here we go! <laughs> I'm unstoppable in the water! Rota's responsible, responding to our presence. I'll move away and wait for an opening before we approach. I'll keep going at full speed. It's up to you to ward off Varuta's attacks. Are you ready? Divine Beast Varuta will undoubtedly use its ancient and mysterious powers against us. That includes hurling giant ice bolts that we'll need to watch out for. Dang it. I don't like the angles that they go at. Get those shock, arrows. shock arrow ready. I tried to do two for two. I shall try. That one's much easier. Unless they come at an angle. So they could just come much quicker. Oh, bouncing, huh? Shock arrows ready. Did it in two. That was astounding. What a thrill. Ha ha. Look, Link. The water spouting from Ruta has slowed. Ruta's floating higher now. You wanted to venture inside it, right? I'll bring you closer! We're counting on you, hero! Do good work in there! And suddenly, it was Varuto was actually the flying one. Here we are. Looks like this Sudden voice acting. Starts. Best of luck. Nice job cutting off the water flow from this divine beast. was very pulse pounding and i Show did it no i will not well you know the last time somebody you cared about went into this thing they died but let us do what we can do taking on a dungeon Finish the job.
kill God. Yeah, I forget exactly what we get from the dungeons in this game, quote unquote dungeons. That's one thing that I hear that a lot of people are happy with. Hiddle did it. The. Was it? Tears of the Kingdom actually has dungeons. Travel gate registered to map. Now we can teleport here if we want to leave. You're here. Yep. Oh, wait, that wasn't. Zelda, that was that you, Mifa? Have you gone this far during your previous playthrough? I honestly do not remember. The only one that I distinctly remember was the bird one, because I really liked Rivali's Gale as an ability. But this one, I want to say maybe, but it's very, very unclear. I do not remember much about it if I did do it. But hello, Mifa. Hopefully, if I don't die. You'll need a map to prevent you from getting lost. Yeah, I'm, I'm a professional at getting lost. Who needs maps when you can just go anywhere? They do all kind of melt together, which doesn't help <laughs> remembering. <laughs> Definitely true. Be gone, eyeball. Yeah, because they have the same aesthetic. Oh, no. It's the motherfucker. Dang it. Oh, I forgot. You're a piddly little man. I don't need to fear you. I can kill you. I forgot these little guys are like nothing to me. ha, ha, ha. Open forth your soul and make way to me, the destroyer. Are you magnesis sized? You are magnesis. Then come up. Be magnetized. An ancient spring. But with my current playthrough, it'll be interesting to, like, fully give it, like, a full, what's the word, my thoughts, give my thoughts on the whole thing, to see if playing through it will be able to remind me if these are different or not, because sometimes my memory is just bad. And now we're Metroid Prime up in here! Divine Beast controls, they've been enabled, so we can move the trunk. That sounds familiar, Good. but I don't know. You've obtained the map of the Divine Beast. Yes. You will see several glowing points on your map, which represent the terminals that control Ruta. Take what shall I do? By activating all of the terminals. All righty then. You can manipulate certain aspects of the Divine Beast from the map screen. Indeed, I saw it. I just don't know what that does. Oh god, the, the 3D map feels weird. Yeah, the, free, the 3D map just feels weird. Ow, how dare you. Hmm. Can I climb you at all? I cannot, because you are made of Sheikah stuff. Sheikah stuff cannot be climbed. Ah, it's because we were meant to go this away. The, you know, it does, kind of does look more like a pathway than the other way. Diddly dee. And this leads to nothing as well. Hmm. I'm wondering if that's just there for, like, people who kind of jump off but land here. Because, like, oh, we're gonna design the beast and it'll have things to do. 
But we'll wander about a bit. Maybe control the trunk if it ever becomes pertinent. I have a guardian sword too, and now you are dead. Die. Zwoosh? What went zwoosh? Why zwoosh? Hmm. Ah! There is some gunk in the cogs! Fuck. Get me out of here. That's because it's not actually touching. Either or. Hmm. If I ride it up, I should be able to make it there. Wait a minute. <laughs> You're a control terminal. Zwoosh, menacing, indeed. So we need to turn that off. Or, just looking around. Looking around at the speed of sound. I doubt this will do anything, but I feel like I want to try, and I felt like it popped up once. Nope, does not work. Technology destroys ice. Confirmed. Firstly, treasure chest. Chest treasure. A hundred rupees, my favorite thing. Steel type versus ice type. That works. I feel like if I jumped down there, I'd be sequence breaking. Or maybe that's exactly what it wants me to do. Alright, because there's multiple terminals. But I wonder. I wonder what that even do. It makes funny animal noises. My favorite thing. We're going to quickly check out this area first before jumping down the way. And funnily speaking on the steel type versus ice type, I still need to... The fuck? Hello, Nightmares from Beyond Creation. No, not you. Eh, not you either. Broadsword. They just have skeletons inside that thing, I guess. Eternal Graveyard of Doom. Because... Hmm, interesting. Uh, this is one puzzle. But I wonder what you do. Well, first thing I want to try is I'm going to activate you and see if I can punish you with some bombs. So I don't have to go down there. Who needs to go down where when we can bomb? But yeah, as I was, uh... Nah, but it didn't do anything. I'll give it an actual try. It probably still won't do anything, and then we can try other things. But speaking of steel type versus ice type, I actually debated whether or not to begin. Ah, that's why. Whether or not I wanted to. Uh. All right, that was weird. It went through and didn't let do anything. Ah, I guess that's just a thing. I keep getting distracted. But yeah, my thoughts prevail. I was debating whether or not I should start my Pokemon Emerald playthrough tonight or not. In the end, I ended up with doing more of this because I just really like Breath of the Wild. It's a very fun time. But who knows, next time I think I might try some Pokemon Emerald. Because that's like... Uh, one of the generations I never got around to playing. Hmm. 
This feels wrong. I think that's the boss arena. But I think I already committed to this. Well. Okay, good. I'm not locked in here. I just got a distinct feeling of, hmm, that, that place looks important. That place looks a boss arena. But it's been open for us entirely forever, so man. Hmm. So we need to bring you up. For the power of Magnesis. Or not, not Magnesis, diddly dee, something else. Wrong way, I guess. We'll try hitting it the other way. I probably should have upgraded my stasis rune. This is probably the entirely wrong way to do it. But hey, it's my way of doing it. Which is incorrectly. Yeah, that's why. I wanted to do it my way if it would be interesting. Who needs magnets when you have kinetic falls game? But now I probably need to... Oh, it just stays. Here I thought I was going to have to freeze it in place so I could activate the terminal. Ah, uh, nothing that flashy. Activation! Oh, and I just got an idea. And I won't, Mifa, just as you have, like, persisted as a ghost. And now it's playing creepy piano music. Fun. But I guess there's a terminal on the trunk that we need to get to. I do understand why people say that this game, like, doesn't really have much music. So, not magnets. I'm still trying to think. I'm still just trying to think of... I need to look about for anything that can be activated. Because, yeah, I can freeze that in time, and that also in time. But I feel that's more like a turn it around, things happen. And then maybe I'm supposed to freeze it while it's in place, and then keep it turning, but I don't know how to activate it yet, because we need to go up. So we shall go up. And then we shall see. And there's a treasure chest also wibbledy wobbed in there. Hmm. I'm just trying to think this through. So how am I supposed to get up more? How am I supposed to get up, dog? It is entirely possible that I am just blatantly missing the object. <laughs> What's up, dog? I have no idea. I don't think anybody knows anymore. The up dog is lost. Will the, <laughs> will the real up dog please stand up? And this is definitely not the right way. Once again, my brain just went, but I could, potentially. Hmm. Are you down, dog? Well, there is, like, downward dog in yoga. So maybe that's where up dog also is. Also in yoga, under a different name, a pseudonym. Don't know why you'd need a pseudonym in yoga, but... We live in a mad world. Hmm. I don't know, there's just... I feel like there's something about this I'm supposed to be doing. Because if it goes up, it, like, briefly activates, but then it falls down again, so... Stasis isn't the answer. 
Because there's also this one. Trying to ponder things. Hmm. Feel like Huh. I'm trying to think this puzzle through, but nothing's coming to mind. Can I just like freeze the water like this? Alright. <laughs> I'm be sticking for this one for a while. It's always the water temples. It always is, ain't it? Alright, so we're gonna let it go until it's at a good point. Then we can activate the water thing again. Nope. Oh, because the water actually, f like, dis dissipates. Oh, from the entire thing. Kind of makes sense, I guess. I think it's mostly because I've never Our thought to, like, you can do, it. do that with the water before. You can do it, Link. You can conquer the world instead of Ganon. I still think that would actually be an interesting idea. You play a Zelda game, but the good guy is Ganondorf and the bad guy is Link. Because again, it doesn't feel like... Yeah, that's one for the bucket list. Imagine fighting Link with all his items. That would honestly be an amazing and a cool thing. Actually. You have to fight a Link who is just like you. Hmm. I'm just trying to think this one through. Because obviously if we... Uh, might as well, since I'm here. I'm here, might as well. Biggledy bunk, I guess. Yeah, that was fun. Hmm. Because I just, I don't feel like it can be stasis, because it feels like the only way to get it to work would be to... Hmm. Ponder? Ponder? Idea, maybe? Is this maybe connected to the trunk? No. That would have been cool. Oh! It is connected to the trunk! Ha 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 ha! Well, first things first, I'm going to freeze you so the chest can come tumbling down. Chest. 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 What? <laughs> Did not expect that. Uh, game, please. Sometimes you just have to press all the buttons and see what happens. I guess it makes sense. There is water coming, so... Eh. Ah, dang it. Oh, it's too late. 
I'll have to wait to go around again. So I can freeze you. And get the chest. Then wait for the opportune time to freeze you. So I can walk in and grab the chest. Huzzah. As you are surrounded by deadly water, remember to stay hydrated. And I shall remember to eat my healing foods. Chest. Chest. Please don't crush me. Does chocolate milk count as hydration? Hmm. Depends on, like, how much water, like, hmm. Because I guess technically milk milk could hydrate you, maybe? I don't know. I don't know the specifics of hydration in regards to milk. And then, like, the additives could actually make it less hydration-y. They could, like, deduct your hydration. There are many things that are odd. Like, the, there are some drinks you can drink that can just outright make you thirstier. Please say I got the timing right. Please say I got the timing right. Darn you. How dare you, you monster. I guess the next plan will be... in here. And now I'm free. There are two terminals remaining. You're nearly there. Huzzah. Hmm. And I don't see like a Maybe there's a different angle. I was trying to wonder, because... Ah! Different angle so it turns the other way! Ha ha ha! I do like this, that they are actively making use of the unique, like, thing that this can do. It's a living dungeon, so... That's nice. Oh no, it's a bastard. What else do we have? A dead man. Hmm, I do know that there is a another chest that's on there, so... Let's see. And considering that I see, like, a fire up there, maybe we'll need to put that out, but let's see. I assume if I click that, it activates eternally. Eternally. So I just want to see, because I know one of them has a treasure chest on it. I think that was it. Can 
now I got a treasure chest. Fire arrows here. Hmm. Why can't I f fly up a waterfall while I'm falling? Oh, huzzah. I didn't even mean to do that. More treasure chests for me. And all this doesn't seem like much, so... On would we go, because now I assume... That I'll need to get onto the trunk to activate another... Diddly D. Hmm. Well, I guess. Get out of here, eyeball. Eyeball and eye jaw. Hmm. Because I need to be able to... Hmm. Well, it's dare to be stupid. Hey, how dare you bump me, game? I was daring to be stupid. How dare you counter my dare to be stupid? I am the one. What? Dang it. That's weird. How dare you, game? I mean, not game. Computer. Computer is evil. And decide to mess up my... My shortcuts, I guess. Blah. Let's see. I need to be able to, I think, get on, because that's what that is. Little dot there. <laughs> Dang, okay, see you next time. Yeah. <laughs> Darn the computer. Let's see. So if I go all the way down, I just need to... Oh, and there's just a nice handy dandy landing platform right here for me. That moment when you try to do things and the game world is like, no. Meh. Now go back to normal, darn you. How oh, dare! Gravity! How dare you! And now I activate you! Shikas later authenticated. One terminal remaining. I have faith in you. And I'm very thankful that you have faith in me. Hmm, I don't even see an eyeball over there. Holding that diddly dee hostage. Ah, there you are, you bastard. I think this should be good. <laughs> First time. No idea why there are like eyeball weak points from the evil monster of damnation, but meh.
Be gone, eyeball. And now we're gonna crank this. Ah, so this will let me extinguish this fire. Why is there even, like, fire built in to this? That seems a rather odd. Because it feels like that was a distinct, like, thing that the Sheikah people added to their giant titan. Yeah, it is. Why is that there? A security system? But you still need a Sheikah slate for all this. And there I shall. Yeah, there's only been a handful of monsters here. So I shall let my guard down as much as I want. I tried to make sure their pilot was, uh, warm. This is, uh, <laughs> Ah, the heating seat just, uh, went rogue. Or they just didn't pay the... the toll. Hmm. Maybe it'll be weak to electricity. Oh, come on, you bastard. I know there's gonna be a boss in here. That's how it always goes. And I'll sneak up on him, too. Oh, wait. Maybe I can take a picture of the monster that's here as well. I mean, that feels like it makes sense. That's also a question. How did Calamity Ganon take over things when... You need a Sheikah Slate to activate all this. Is Calamity Ganon actually a Sheikah Slate monster? He's the primitive Digimon. Well, that's horrifying. Yeah, this does seem to be like a combination of Sheikah Power and Ganon. Water Blight Ganon. Seems moist. Please take care. That thing is one of Ganon's creations. Aren't like all things Ganon's creations? Harsh. Then where's your body? Where's your bones? I believe that you or are you an invertebrate? Why fight when I can take pictures? And I have arrows. Who needs things when I have arrows? Oh, uh, oh, bastard. Die, Water Blight Ginin! You'll never become Hokage! Don't tell me you're gonna. Re okay, good, you're not gonna recharge, are you? Ah, we're gonna make this like a bunch of other fights of the universe, huh? Well, I have arrows, so screw you. I'm coming for you, motherfucker. I beat you up in the face. You're ugly. Up. Ow, oh, bastard. Now to activate my final form. Nom nom. Ow. Be cautious, I am dying. Be 
Oh, what the fuck? Uh, I did not expect that. I thought I, I thought I stunned you. <laughs> water blight Ganon too with more water. Attack. Uh, don't need to tell me twice, motherfucker. Game. You need to tell the game twice, though. Take that, Waterman. I killed Aquaman. Yeah, I do not remember fighting this guy. But I do kind of remember the mechanics of Varuta in hindsight, so maybe I started Varuta but stopped. Probably less of, oh, this is annoying, so I stop, and probably more of a, I just dropped the game because brain back in the day. Take that, Ganon. This is my elephant now. Oh, and I get health? Like a permanent health bonus? Yes? It's like four shrines in one. Well, if that's true, why not... If that is true, why not just, instead of building like a, like 90 to 100 shrines, make like a million beasts? The ancient Sheikah made no sense and it stole away all... Oh, nope, there's my bonus hearts, yay. Once you activate the main control unit, you will not be able to re-enter the interior of this divine beast. Why not? Mean, do you still wish to activate it? I think I got all the chests, sure. I activate the elephant man. Hello, Link. Because of your courage, my spirit is now free. And Rita as well. Yay. Thank you. Hey, Luke, just I like the king did. By this freedom to be with you once again. Mifa, Zora Champion. Since I am now a spirit, my healing power would be wasted on you. I have no need of it. What? So therefore, I would like you to have it. Now I can become the super healer man? Of course I'd accept it. <laughs> you actually n named your ability. Apparently it's a powerful ability too. It makes me float. Yesterday, I was awash in a pool of tears. I had nearly given up hope and resigned myself to being trapped here as a spirit for the rest of eternity. But now you're here. All this time my hope was to see you once more. Promise me that you will not hesitate to call upon my power if you ever find yourself in need. Sure thing, Mifa. Will let my spirit rest in peace. I must go. Ruta and I have our roles to fulfill. We are both honored to be able to play the role of support. <laughs> we'll annihilate Ganon together. Fellow we are happy to play the role of support. Save she locks in mercy. Save the princess. Save princess Zelda. But I want to save you even more. When best girl is fish and also dead. Yep. Because the world is mean. She is too good for this cruel world. Although all the ghosts seem to have incredible power for people who are dead. Varuta now sinks below the water once again to absorb all the water to Waterboard Ganon. Water Blight Ganon? No, no. Waterboard. It's like an elephant shark. 
How do you even get down there? This elephant no physics. Waterboard Ganon. Makes sense. He's from the desert. <laughs> and plus it's a torture technique. How'd you even get up there? Do you just teleport through water like magic? You're just gonna shoot Ganon right now? I guess you're just priming it. <laughs> found a way to be useful to me and the other champions, of course. Our job will be to help Link as he fights Ganon inside the castle, however we can. Using your ability to drain Ganon of his power is key to our success. This is it. <laughs> Locked and loaded. This will be our last chance and everyone's last hope. If we seal him away, then we can restore peace to Hyrule. And both your duty and mine will be fulfilled. We can restore peace to Hyrule. Our duty will be fulfilled like five years later, Tears of the Kingdom happens. I don't even know what happens. I just... Obviously something goes wrong. I have always followed my heart. I'm sorry I made you worry. I wish I could see you again. Well, why can't you? You're a ghost. Go fly down there. Just once more. Utilize your ghostly power. Go haunt him. Why not let me take a picture of him and a picture of you? Primitive snap time FaceTime stuff. And they react not at all. They do not care. Mipha's Grace, a restorative power born from the spirit of the champion Mipha. When your hearts run out, you'll automatically be resurrected with full hearts plus temporary bonus hearts. Neat. Hello. Hi. Good evening. <laughs> the sky's clear for the first time in a bit. I would like to celebrate by taking my daughter on a trip, but I cannot afford to leave my post. By the way, Master Link, are you going to fight Calamity Ganon again? Again? Mm -hmm. I mean, Master Link. You and Lady Mipha fought Calamity Ganon a hundred years ago, don't you recall? Master Link, you really don't remember anything, do you? Uh. Okay, in that case, ask me anything you want to. Trello? <laughs> Trello is my father. Since retiring, he has been in charge of the Champion Festival. It is he who now bears the ceremonial trident. But Master Link, you really should not speak with any of the elderly here, including my father. As for me, well, I just do not believe you're guilty of anything. Uh. Is there anything else? Mipha. Uh. Lady Mipha is the Princess of Zora and the Prince Sidon's oldest sister. She's also the Zora champion. That means she was able to command the divine beast Varuta. Mm. But unfortunately, Lady Mipha was, well, a hundred years ago, Calamity Ganon. I should not be the one telling you this, sorry. Please ask King Dorfan. Mm -hmm. Well, goodbye. Mm -hmm. ah. ah, a Hylian. Ah. Looks like Father was rather excited to speak with you. Oh, well. Ah. It's been a while since we've seen the sun here. I wonder if Ruta has stopped spouting water everywhere. By the way, did you need anything from me? <laughs> We can ask the uh, how old are you question again if we really wanted to. What if Link really is nobody and everyone's just gaslighting him? That would be hilarious. They're like, this person, he looks just like Link. We'll make him Link. <laughs> we will force this man to be Link, whether he wants it or not. The rain stopped. I wonder if Prince Sidon was able to stop Ruta. Huh? Well, what could the man who stole our lady Mifa away possibly say? Trident? That's not your business. <laughs> but Trident, though. Eh. Well, everybody, I did it. I saved the day. It is me, the winner. Ling, you did well to survive your trial. I've been awaiting your return. The violent downpour has disappeared, as has the threat to Zora's domain. It is all a little more than a bad dream now. Thanks to your efforts, there is no longer any danger of a great flood laying waste to Hyrule. 
you appeased the divine beast Varuta and thusly saved Zora's domain. <laughs> we are truly grateful. What you did for us is more than we could have ever expected of you. Uh. Link, I must sincerely apologize for my harsh treatment of you. This whole time, you were thinking of Hyrule's and Lady Mipha's well-being, just like the rest of us. All of the members of our council humbly fold our fins back in gratitude, along with the rest of our people. Perhaps the older generation of Zora, myself included, misunderstood Hylians after all. It would seem so. That said, I would be overjoyed if you could find it in your heart to forgive me. If not, then perhaps one day. <laughs> Link, I must reward your efforts. Now then, I implore you to collect the treasure inside that chest over there. It was cherished by Mipha, a memento of sorts. I would like you to have it as a token of our friendship. Please take good care of it. Mm. By the way, Link, I see you are without your trusty blade, the sword that seals the darkness. Mm. Did you perhaps lose it when you lost your memory? Perhaps. What? Is it truly lost? That is a legendary blade that only you, the Hylian champion, can wield. It is no doubt resting somewhere in Hyrule even now. Wasting, wasting, waiting for its master to return. <laughs> Link, all of the Zora thank you from the depths of our hearts for your heroic and selfless work. <laughs> and you too, Sidon. As your father, I am proud of you for fighting the Divine Beast alongside Link. You have grown much recently. I knew you will become, I know you will become a worthy heir when your time comes. Oh. Father, I thank you. <laughs> the heavy rains have stopped, and the Divine Beast is our ally once again. Oh, glorious. Truly splendid. <laughs> I becomes Waluigi for a second. <laughs> Link, this is wonderful. <laughs> Vigorous shake. Link, thank you so much. Truly, I could never thank you enough. You helped save our home from vanishing away. This calls for a top-tier expression of gratitude. Zozo, ra ra ra, with all my heart, thank you. The Zora can whistle. And now, huzzah. Treasure chest, what are you? The light scale trident. Specialized in healing capabilities, her spearmanship was a class all its own. Well, now I don't want to use it because then it'll break. Hello, Sidon. Link, I must thank you. You somehow overcame the objections of the old geezers on our council, all to help save our kingdom. Yes, you are treasure of a Hylian. Taking time out of your journey to come to a rain and monster-ridden home. And here you activated those orbs of shock arrows, freed Ruta, and released my sister from her lingering regret. Huh. Link, I simply can't thank you enough, especially for following me to the end, pushy and unreasonable as I am. Zora's domain would still be in peril if not for you. You are welcome any time, and we are ever at your service. Huh. Have I mentioned how incredible you are and how thankful I am? Because you are, and I am! Yes, you are the greatest of Hylians and my most treasured friend for all time. I knew you were the same Link from a hundred years ago. You did a fine job this time. May Lady Mipha's spirit live on within all of us. I must prepare for the Champion Festival. I do not have time to talk. Where did I drop it? Hmm. You, did you drop the diddly ding spear? The ceremonial spear? Why, you monster? And who are you, traveler? 
Good evening. It's rare to see a hireling here. Back at you. I'm a traveling merchant. I'm everywhere. Oh, I should introduce myself. I'm Duma. Nice to meet you. You know, oh, it used to rain all the time around here. The rain stopped. That's why I was finally able to reach Zora's Domain. Now I'm going to stock up on rare goods at the general store here. Don't get in my way, understand? And then I go and just buy all of the general store goods that she cannot get a single thing because I hate her and I am cruel. Hmm. I forget how many hearts I require for the Maester Sword. Was it like 10 or 12? 50 quadrillion or 9? Hello, historian. Link, it seems that I was wrong about you. Seen Divine Beast Varutas from here, form here, even though we lost Lady Mifa, it seems she can still help you fight against Calamity Ganon. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not introduce myself sooner. I am Giahout. Giotto. I'm a historian who studies Zora history and preserves it for future generations. Even so, this stone monument that King Dorfin supposedly wrote, it's torn to pieces now. Most likely the ten stone monuments outside of their domain are in the same awful condition. I'm thinking about collecting the contents of all the stone monuments and compiling them into a book. But these old legs and fins traveling to all ten stone monuments will take a great deal of time. That is why, Link, I'd like to ask a favor of you. I'd like you to find all ten stone monuments around Zora's domain and tell me what they say. Okay. Oh, thank you. You are truly a lifesaver. How reassuring that the champion will search for those monuments for me. Ah. I have it on good authority that among the stone monuments, one has the location of some treasure written on it. If you happen to find said treasure, feel free to keep it. It will most likely be something that Azora wouldn't need. Now you'll need to find the ten stone monuments around Zora's domain. I believe in you. <laughs> in fact, I'm counting on you. So I just need to, like, read them all. Because I already read that one earlier. It's the same broken one. And you also need help. Aww. They say Ruta has calmed down and yet... Go on. Ah, it is you, Link. I'm sorry, I was talking to myself. Couldn't he ask the king? Yeah, because Dorfan did r ride it, didn't he? So that is kind of funny. But I suppose he doesn't want to like, recreate what was written. Hmm. And I'm trying to word it correctly. He's like, he doesn't want to ask the king to spend all that time recounting things again. He wants to jot down what the legendary stone monuments of Zoro's domain say and put them in a book. Which, I guess, has its own, like, distinction to it. What's wrong? The truth is, my wife May left and hasn't come back yet. After the Divine Beast Valruta started rampaging, she went out to go fishing like everything was normal. And now Ruta has settled down, but she still hasn't returned. Oh. I'm afraid the worst has happened. If only I had stopped her from re from leaving. Oh, what do I do? I'll find her. Link, you saved Zora's domain, and now you're going to help me find my May as well? Mm. You're a true champion. I'm sorry to put this burden on you, but please bring her home. But I don't even know where she is. See. Is that what I hear it is? Hmm. So search for May in his place. Where could she be indeed? Ah, so. Blood Moon. That <laughs> Fronk. Is a weird name, ain't it? Let me guess, you're going to ask me to dive from the one place. Hey, it's you! It's my observation that a person's true colors shine the brightest when they dive freely into the waters. Congratulations on the new Zora armor. It is most impressive indeed. Wearing the Zora armor, even a Hylian like you can climb a waterfall and get back here appear in no time at all. That said, if you don't mind me asking, would you please show me your true colors as you dive into the water? You, you can dive head first from here into the water below. It would be true beauty made flesh. Please consider. Sure, why not? I can dive during a blood moon. 
Oh, I messed up. <laughs> he was like, I'm about to dive, and then I just... Like, what's the word? I'm trying to think of. Jebate him. Yeah, we know. Monsters come back, everything's bad. Please hurry, Link. He's like, oh, Link is going to show me true wonder and form through his diving. And then I just glide away. What's that? You thought that I would dive for you, you fool. Blinding brightness, radiant beauty. <laughs> okay, now climb the waterfall and then meet me back here. Climb the waterfall. Yeah. Fantastic! Can you feel that? My soul is on fire. It's Pulsating with beauty! You showed me something truly special. Thank you so much. Now then, come over here real quick. He said all that while I was just hung hanging in the air. That was amazing! I saw your dive and waterfall climb with my own lucky eyes. And now those eyes are flooded with tears of joy. Yes, I must thank you somehow. I'll take it. Oh, I feel emotionally ravaged after that. It's not every day I see a diving form as beautiful as yours, you know. I'll be looking forward to your next dive. I really will. He seems oddly subs obsessed with my body. Hmm. La dee doo. Splits the feet of a veiled false sight. Oh, you're the alien who helped our Prince Sidon. Your looks still don't compare to Prince Sidon, of course. But you're not half bad. In fact, I wouldn't mind talking with you for a bit, hee-hee. <laughs> you are a child. That song. I just love singing. I even remember the song that from the Champion Festival. Do you want to hear it? Sure. <laughs> He's definitely hitting on you. I feel like everybody hits on me in this place. Okay, I'm going to sing it now, the Champion Festival song. <laughs> a gift from the sky, a scale of light. Splits the feet of a veiled false sight. Your trial awaits. It's glowing bright. I don't really get what the song's about, but I'm going to sing it at the next Champion Festival. Mr. Trello is supposed to get the festival together, but he hasn't done anything for it yet. I wonder what's wrong with him. Did he forget his job? <laughs> he is an old man. Because now we're going to go and head up there again to scout out... Because I did indeed see... A shrine in that cutscene. I saw a cutscene shrine, so I want to mark it down so I can go do it, conquer it, kill it, ravage it, and then beat up the monk that's inside. <laughs> and now my brain went to this game would be totally different if, like, all the shrines, instead of there being mummified old dudes, it's sexy women. Oh, Link, your princess is in this shrine. I think the Zoras just have a thing for Hylians. It's weirdly consistent over the series. I'd believe that, especially considering the, f like, uh, I don't, I wouldn't say first Zora princess, because I don't know which game first introduced the Zoras, but the princess Zora from Ocarina of Time is definitely probably the most famous, well, until Mifa came along. Now I think people think Mifa when they think Zoro that hits on Link. I think they went that way. I'll have to climb. Because I want a vantage point so I can look for all... Well, apparently, uh... Apparently, Korok seeds. Summon forth. Give me your power. Give me your power. Give me your soul. Die. 
I'll put on the bandana so I can climb better. Klim, climb, climb. Through the power of climbing, I will murder you. Because I just want a vantage point to look over places. I probably like this. I could have gone like... That's probably just the light, but it just looks weird. <laughs> Need a vantage point. Look over the land. Look for orange that I can pinpoint and say die. I am the magical flying man. I'm coming to kill you. I guess that basically makes Link Mothman in this world. Oh no, not the Hylian Mothman. That is the worst man to ever exist. Hello, Fox. I will not kill you. Because I am not Wolf from Star Fox. I do like the vistas in this game. The much good looks. Because I just want to see. Overlook the land. I know that there is a... I see you, shrine. be hilarious if it was one that I had already marked. Because there are, like... Yeah, I think I marked one there. I guess I... Either that's the tower, or I just marked that. Well... well I guess we'll fly down and do that. Now this makes me wonder if... Any Rito hit on Link over the course of the series. Then again, Rito have only appeared in, like, two games, haven't they? So they haven't really gotten much opportunity. God damn. That's a very rude game to summon the winds against me. I want to go down there, you bastard. Well, it just doesn't seem like the, Z the Rito have had much opportunity to hit on Link. Rito writes. More chance for them to hit on Link. If any Rito hit on Link, it would be game over for the shippers. Such is the way of things, isn't it? Why is there wind? How dare there be wind? At least it's not coming from a wall like last time. And why is it so goddamn strong? It's like they know people would want to do this. And like, no, you don't get to. You know what, game? I made all these stamina registratives. To hell with you. I drink it on spite. Spite alone fuels me. And I don't even need to do your puzzle. Haha, <laughs> you fool. I don't even need to play your game. I can fly. So that's why there's big wind. They really did want you not to do that. Favorite Zelda species? Probably the Rito. Although the Deku are very cool. I am a big fan of the Rito. I just like their aesthetic. Uh. <laughs> Uh, Wind Waker Rito or Breath of the Wild Rito? I would say probably Breath of the Wild Rito myself. I'm very confused.
This seems odd. Oh, they they do have uh, markers saying that they which way they'll turn. Okay. I did not notice them. They should have been brightly colored. If I hit you, will you do something? No. How dare you? Burn. And what you be? Opal. Opal. Hey, Opal. Opal. Hmm. All right, I've got an idea, a thing to do. I shall smickety smack you so that all of these are now out in the open. And I'm going to be a filthy cheat. Darn you, can I not be a filthy cheat? I can be a filthy cheat, I just need to be more accurate. Now the question is, do I want to continue upon my cheating path? Or do I want to do this legiot? I'm gonna be a cheating bastard. Darn, I missed. No, never mind, I didn't miss. I am the victor. I am the win -rar. Hmm. And now my brain is suddenly reminded that I really should draw Rito. But my drawing skills are men. I need to level them up. Someday, maybe. Someday. I talk to you, spirit man. Give me your soul. Turn into oblivion and dust. Level them up by drawing Rito. Yeah, that's true. Can always just look at a ton of Ravali pictures and be like, I shall now make a rough approximation of this lovable asshole. Gaze upon the Varuta that prances upon the loading screen. The adorable elephant, or Cass, or really any of the Rito. They all have such nice designs. And now my brain suddenly went to all prominent male Rito and Link in that couch meme. How dare you hear a, the sh- uh, You are dumb. You are a dumb man. No, I don't want to use that. How dare you have ideas. Ideas are bad for one like you. I'm gonna come stab you. I'm gonna come stab you. You're going to die! Ha 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 ha! I'm poking you. You're gonna die a slow, painful death. Where's your blood? There's always more room for bows. Prioritizes dur durability. I think I'll keep that. Durability is always very nice. Hmm. Do I want to go kill him? No, I don't think I will. I guess I'll quickly teleport around and head to the places. The Nehru Tower will go there, and then I guess head that way for the other shrine that I doth did say. And I forgot to put on my good suit. Now I'm just distracted by gay thoughts of Rito. But they are the best thoughts. I myself am distracted by the bisexual thoughts of Rito.
Hmm. And now I'm reminded of like a long time ago, I think somebody drew Link as a Rito. I should do that someday. There are just so many good ideas in the world. So, <laughs> bisexual thoughts work very well too. Thank you indeed. There are just so many yeah. hot anthropomorphic forms that we can shove Link into. I mean, it's kind of underrated, but there's already the bunny Link from, I think, Link to the Past? I think it was. The one with the, sh like, the shadow world that he goes to and he becomes a rabbit. Which is hilarious. And then, of course, there's always Wolf Link from Twilight Princess. <laughs> Dark World Link, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Legend of Zelda. Uh, apparently... There's just an ongoing theme of turning Link into animals. And then the furry fandom going, I can work with that. <laughs> I still don't know what to do with Choo Choo Jelly. I mean, I could look it up if I really wanted to. Shut up, Octorok. Nobody likes you. You're all gonna die. No sword for you. No sword for you! Ah, you're gonna use the uh, art of barrel tossing. Good for you. Creative, you're still gonna die. Now I could do you. But why do that when I can just make my own bridge? And now my mind jumps back to the events of uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus where people would just catch a bunch of, uh, I forget how it's pronounced, Bibrils? The evolution of Bidoof and just make bridges across the water because they were such a flat Pokemon that you could just make bridges out of them. Hi, I was on top of it, you Oh. Am I gonna have to burn more thorns? You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Fly off into oblivion. And it looks like we will have to burn. Goodbye. For a moment it wasn't burning and I was like, oh no. I mean, I guess I could have also caused a fire to fly over it, but... The power of arson! The power of burning passion through the application of violent arrows! Now, what will you be? Fight or puzzle? If puzzle, what kind? We already had one technically fire puzzle that I never puzzled because I was just like, Eh, I have fire arrows! Eh, fuck it. Why do the puzzle when I can just burn things? Speed of light. That seems dangerous. A fight, how much text to read? I don't know. I'm going to activate that again because there's obviously stuff down there. What happens if I jump into the laser? It's a very close call, apparently. And I just want to make sure there was nothing down... Oh, treasure chest. Be hilarious if I said, ooh, treasure chest, then fell and didn't get it. Opal! 
I will collect all the Steven Universe characters and then sell them for profit. I find it funny that I can just turn this infinitely. Perfect idea. I'll wait here, and it'll rise up. Uh, apparently not. How dare you ruin my ideas, universe. My ideas were great. On to spot you go. I guess I need to put on my Zora clothes so I can super speed and do it. If I can do it fast enough, I should be able to get back in time for things to go well. Come on, activate. Make it, make it, make it, make it or break it. Yeah! I'm the super speedway. And the barrel wasn't even on there properly anyway. God damn it. Yo, barrel man, get on there and do what barrels do. I wonder how much the designers liked working on the shrines. Because they're just like, we get to do interesting things in small bite-sized chunks. <laughs> now I'm imagining a shrine that's just like, fight Calamity Ganon. He's just in there. Another aspect of him. Fight the boss. The final boss. And get one-fourth of a heart container. I give you unbearable pain and sadness that is a boss fight. You receive one-fourth heart. Man, these brambles respawn quickly. Oh, and you can walk. We could walk here if we wanted. Too bad that I didn't want to. Now I'm imagining a shrine that's just a spelling bee. And it's just like, how do you spell this? Well, that wouldn't really work because... <laughs> Although, that would be hilarious usage of voice acting. There is no text. There is only voice acting. How do you spell the word Bazinga? A shrine, but you have to write a two-page essay and send it to Miyamoto himself. He says, I can't speak English. He gives you an F. Sure, it's far away, but we're going to head over there. It is the shrine that I have marked on the map, so therefore it is the shrine that I will do! That is just the way of the Link. I see a shrine, and like a Pokemon trainer, I must do battle upon making eye contact. Now I'm imagining a Pokemon game that's Pokemon Trainer Simulator, where you just stay in a single place, waiting for somebody to come by, and if they make eye contact with you, you fight them. You have made eye contact, and so now, the ritual begins. And I guess I got super distracted earlier, because I don't think I ever... Uh. Alright. 
that's weird. One second. Uh, okay. That was just a graphical glitch on my monitor. For a moment, I thought my OBS had just uh, had a seizure and died. That would have been fun. I mean, technically, I guess it wouldn't have been the end of the world. I could have all... Like, even if I lost... Hmm. Yeah, like, even if I lost the local recording of the stream, I could always just download the stream VOD and stitch together after I, uh, like, reactivated the stream. Hello, Traveler. Are you a Traveler or are you gonna kill me? I think you're gonna kill me, so I'm gonna prepare myself for murder. Uh-huh. Uh, what's the that word? It's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't think of it. It starts with L, ends in K. What is it there? Let me guess. Link. Oh, right. The Hylian Champion, or so I've heard. Somewhere. That's you, right? Your Link. Lay down your life. No, Commander Shepard. I will not. I didn't even mean to really do that. But that works. Oh, okay. That was fast. Jerk. <laughs> Crime! The best thing in the world. But yes, as uh, my OBS flipping out and giving me a minor heart attack uh, distracted me from, last stream, I talked about some of the fun little, like, uh, things I constantly saw when I've been reading uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus, uh, Fan fiction, because as you do, as, and the conclusions I saw was a lot of it, at least the high ranking ones, according to Reed's, were featuring Ingo, that the main playable character was usually the female protagonist, Akari, and we'll continue after getting reward. Are you some kind of wandering do-gooder? Because the world could really use a few more of those, thanks! Ooh, mighty salt grilled fish. Thank you. <laughs> Time to stop floofing around here. <laughs> is that is that Hyrulean uh, self censorship for fucking around? <laughs> Time to stop fucking around here. Let's get back to hunt for those hearty truffles. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of the fan fiction revolves around Ingo, a fan favorite who was so fan favorite that they threw him into the past, making him more fan favorite, and then. The... Oh, but... Uh, Alright. Uh-huh. You are an odd... Go back to Reach! And the preferred playable character. And hey, Beetle. Do I have a bug that you like? Customer, since today is a customer appreciation day, I want you to have this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what the... What the... What? Beetle is just like, here, take a thing that just uh, nuke. I am Beetle. Have a nuke, Link. I haven't even bought anything from you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this even works on those guardian things. It's amazing. I hear it works best if you hit the guardians in the eye with it. This old guy named Robbie gave it to me. To find him, go way north past Zora's domain, all the way to Akala Ancient Tech Lab. Old Robbie makes a bunch of other weird weapons and clothes and stuff. I guess he's what you call a mad scientist, which is kind of cool, but also terrifying. If you want strong weapons and stuff, you should see go see him. The next thing Beetle gives you is a gun. <laughs> Legend of Zelda, Beetle has a gun. <laughs> hmm. uh, as much as I would really like to have more arrows. I can't justify s using my money. I have to buy clothes. This is fashion souls. Oh, hey, a stable. Yay. No wonder there were so many people. We were near civilization. But to continue my thoughts, only to probably get interrupted soon. Is that Cass? It's Cass! My boy! Husbando! What song doth thou sing today, accordion man? 
How does a bird even get buff muscles like this? Oh. Ah, we meet yet again. How are you holding up? In case you were wondering about the song I perform at the stables, there are many theories about its origin. But according to my teacher, it was a song performed by the ancient hero to call his horse companion. <laughs> if you ever feel like hearing it, feel free to drop by. Anyway, time to get back to it. I happen to know a song about the ancient hero. It was passed down... Uh, I think we've already heard it, but let's hear it again! Without further ado... Yeah, I think it's the same one. The kingdom of Hyrule is vast and storied land, oft grasped in the palm of a villainous hand. Yep, we already uh, had this one, but I will let him play his song because it's a good song, and I can get my thoughts out because I keep getting interrupted by new things. But, yeah. Pokemon Legends Arceus, reading a bunch of fan fiction because that's my life now. And it's just funny the constant thing of Ingo being so fan favorite that they decide to include him in a game that he gets yeeted into the past, and thus making him even more of a fan favorite. And then, uh, which is why a bunch of the fan fiction revolves around him. Then comes along the fact that it basically seems like the majority of the, like, fanfic writers prefer Akari, the female playable character, as their, like, canonical choice, apparently, which is just hilarious to me. To the point that I've only ever seen the Ray, the male playable protagonist, in two stories. One in which the focus was mainly on Emmett, uh, no, not Emmett, that's the next one, on Ingo, and then hilariously w was chosen as the playable canonical character in a story where they decided, hey, how about it was Emmett that got yeeted into the past and became a warden? Ah, uh, Funny old fan fiction worlds. I just love it's just very interesting to read them and to look at the trends and be like, ah, so this is the public consciousness. I do find it funny that once we get to this part, there's like no accordion. It's just the normal one. Fanfics will be biased as the people demand. It's just hilarious to read and, like, to see it consistently. It would be one thing if it was just like, ah, yes, an Akari fanfic, uh, a Ray fanfic, an Akari fanfic, a Ray fanfic. But no, it's Akari, 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 Ray, Akari, Akari, Akari. Just keeps going, 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 going. Cass is such the storyteller that he brings out an, an entire organ. Elected officials uh, based on who has more fan fiction. Oh, the... Oh, that would probably be Twilight Sparkle, then. <laughs> right, just like... I like the idea of as you're, like, hearing this like the choir and the organ, Link turns around again and is just like, Hey, uh, <laughs> where do you get the organ from? It's just like, I have my secrets. It is the ninja way of the music man. Thank you for listening. Please come back and hear it again sometime. Let's see if there's anybody here. You have a quest for me? All right, Vecna looking man. I wish I had this kind of artistic skill. Hi. Ha <laughs> ha. She is a princess after all. Fair. Have you come to look at this picture too? It's so beautiful I could spend hours just looking at it. This painting was made by Uzunda, the owner of this stable or so I hear. Oh. That volcano in the background is so majestic and the stable is subtle in the scenery. Oh. I think the stable was painted from a southern direction. The composition is just so impressive. The landscape of a stable. Well, I hope you're not, like, 
trying to be like... Oh, is that another one? No, that's lava. Let's see. I hope the game isn't like hoping... It's like, oh, we're going to lead the player to the shrine that is literally right here. The shrine led me to the stable. And... I don't think so. Well, let's do the shrine. All the shrines, all the time. Time shrines. Link goes into a shrine and he comes out in the world of Equestria. The entire, the trial is to finish that fanfic that he lives in now. <laughs> and now I'm imagining a... I don't know why, but that many balls is oddly terrifying. At least we know where they got the lava. I'll wait for it to pass by and I'll freeze it so I have more time. Yeah, you fool! Now I run! Freedom for me! Freedom for Waluigi! This ball is mine! Diddly 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 diddly. Oddly, oddly, no. Obviously, the best fictional character that we should make our president has to be Saxton Hale. With the power of Saxton Hale, we can do anything. If we give Saxton Hale a concussion and make him believe that America is Australia, he'll give us all the Australium in the world. It's perfect. I think I'm supposed to use the metal ball to make way. <laughs> the TF2 lore. Okay, so you just have amazing tastes in media then. Nah, just very specific ones. Like, really, I think I can like most anything. I, I, I just need to actually get around to watching a lot of stuff. Like, I need to watch Avatar The Last Airbender. I hear it's really good. I watched the first few episodes and it is really good, but brain just has a hard time sitting down and watching TV shows. Through the power of metal, I get to the end. I've also been meaning to rewatch uh, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic so I can just... Because Brain is like, hey, do reviews of the episodes for funny ahas. I have a whole script ready, but I need to actually voice it and then edit it. And Brain just, bleh. Brain is gonna brain and ruin everything and hurt my soul. What other things do I need to actually try? There are like, there's so many media things that I need to watch. Some things I need to rewatch, like Digimon Adventure and then Adventure 02, so that I can then get, like, really, I need to watch through the entirety of every Digimon anime because I only know, like, the majority of Adventure, a few slices of Adventure 02. A wobbly chunk of Tamers. I really like Tamers. Tamers is a good one. It's a very good one. This is very good indeed. There's just so many anime, cartoons, TV shows. 55 billion things that I need to give shots at. And consume. The original Digimon anime is all I've seen. Is the Reth worth investigating? I think that there are decent fans for some of the, uh, like, uh, later seasons. A very good one is Tamers. Tamers, the third season, is what a lot of people really, like, it's different from Adventure. And, uh, goes in a different direction with things. And from what I hear, it is a very much a fan favorite. And hilariously, because I don't think this is spoilers, I don't think, it's mostly like the vibe of the creation of both the dub and the original show is because apparently at the time, the person they were wanting to get to make the third season of Digimon uh, was kind of annoyed with the being like forced to do things or like mandates and stuff. So, 
uh, to appease him, the higher-ups are like, hey, we'll let you do whatever you want with this. Oh, that's the end. Nope. Goodbye. But, like, the, the higher-ups are like, hey, we'll let you do whatever you want, really, with this uh, third season of Digimon. So the third season of Digimon was allowed to be a bit more dark and mature and explore, like, uh, different kinds of story. Which, granted, Digimon Adventure in 02 could get pretty dark themselves, so <laughs> that's saying something. And, uh, but hilariously, mimicking... Skeletons go home. But, like, mimicking that... <laughs> Rinamon season, indeed. But mimicking the... Like, being allowed to be darker and more mature... Is, I, the dub company, or, like, the company that facilitated over the dub... Was about to, like, uh, either lose the rights to Digimon... Or were gonna go out of... Comp like, uh, go out of business for one reason or another. So they're like, hey... How about we actually make this pretty serious as well? It's still a Digimon dub, so it has its wonkiness and charm to it. But it's just amusing that the stars aligned that the actual season and then the dub of the season were mirrored and they were allowed to be like, hey, screw it, let's go all out. Although they did, although, and, uh, I will be vague, they did try and slightly succeed to force one thing onto the creator of the, uh, the season, but he did his damnedest to downplay that aspect. Like, oh, you're gonna force this on me? You're gonna force this on me? No. How dare you. I refuse. <laughs> Ow, rude. Oh, double rude. I'm gonna keep shooting your head. Your friend hasn't come to save you yet, which, thank God. The one thing. My brain runs at a mile a minute, so I forget if I said that. <laughs> yeah, that there is the one, like they tried to push on him and kind of succeeded. But he also fought back and really downplayed it. He's like, "You're gonna make me do this? How about no? How dare you?" I thought I had two squibblies. Hmm. Oh, well. I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt to eat my nom nom. What? You were sleeping, you bastard. Go back to sleep. Nobody is alive anymore. God is dead. Ooh, Mark. <laughs> I gotta get this sneak attack off on this bastard. Sneak attack. Goodbye, young man. But yeah, I've been meaning to rewatch like the Digimon Adventure, Adventure O2, Tamers, and even do like a dub sub comparison because I've never watched the original Digimon script, so that would be interesting. Just to see how... <laughs> especially considering, like... Oh no! My internet died, apparently. That's weird. So I think my internet died. Let us test things. 
Come back, Internet. Come back. You bastard. Internet. Well, my name... It's, hmm. That's very odd. Seems that my internet on my phone is all right. So that's weird. Up, ah, reconnection successful. Huzzah. That was weird. That's the first time that's happened in a million years. And that's why I do local recordings. It keeps things safe. <laughs> but so long as it, <laughs> it didn't die for like a full minute, so that's not bad. But where was I? I was rambling on that I was going to give... Uh, oh, wait. I was also going to get that big... Uh, that big weapon that the the bastard dropped. Or did I already get it? Nope, I did not get it. What should I drop for you? Eh, probably this, because it's going to be a... A big, big... But as I was saying, I've been meaning to go back and rewatch Digimon Adventure, Digimon O2... Digimon Tamers, and uh, give both, like, the original Japanese version and then the English dub a chance. Just, like, compare and contrast. Because, like, it's this weird thing where I personally really like the Digimon, Digital Monsters, Digimon All the Champions song. I really like it. I, and I, I this is, this might be a spicy opinion to like classical Digimon fans, but personally, I think that Digimon Digital Monsters, the American theme song, is more fitting of a theme than Butterfly. I will fully admit that Butterfly is the better song. It is a great song, a very good song, and it is, I, I love it. Oh, wolves? How dare you fight me? I'm gonna go do this shrine then. Goodbye. But yeah, Butterfly is a fantastic theme. As is Digimon Tamer's Japanese theme song, Be the Biggest Dreamer. But Digimon Digital Monsters is so fitting of a song. If only it was, like, more melodic and, like... Because it's already fitting. It just could have maybe also had been, I don't know, maybe more interesting a song. Who knows? I don't know. I don't make music. I occasionally go heedly he. I make lyrics to song. To the point that Brain decided it wanted to put lyrics into a chapter of a fanfic. The fuck is this? The fuck is that? <laughs> it's really corny, kind of like Digimon. That's true. <laughs> Although that does uh, make me think of like uh, po the Pokemon theme song. <laughs> oh boy, motion control, my my puzzle, my favorite. They either go really easily or they go really bad. There is no in between. But oh, my arm! Ah I tried to, I tried to beef it, but it beefed me. But yeah. Meanwhile, I have never heard of uh, the like uh, the original Japanese like Pokemon theme song. I have never heard of it. Hmm, how am I supposed to get that treasure chest? Probably should have actually... Eh, darn. Guess there's that. I guess I could be smart. I could be smart if I want to. But I don't want to be smart. I want to be a god, man. Ah, I think I get it. 
Oh, uh, I shoot that with an arrow to get the diddly D. Yeah, but maybe that should be something that I do now. Like, no, of course not on stream, just like, as a mild curiosity, I should look into the original Japanese Pokemon theme song. That would be interesting for me history. Apparently, they brought back the Gotta Catch Em All theme at a hype moment in the anime recently, which, that's always cool. Always very nice when companies do a smart and do a good. Oh boy, more motion controls, and it looks like the ball puzzle. Will I be able to cheese this one? Oh, it's a multi-ball puzzle. Multi-ball! Ping pong! You slut! You motherfucker! Yes? <laughs> I am the victor! Give me money. You don't have money? I take your soul then and give it away. <laughs> I guess technically I could take four of these guys, like soul, spirit orb things, and sell it to that horn statue and just never give get the orb back. That's all. Or like the, the heart thing back. Heart, flesh, stamina, vessel. alternate universe where Link says, screw uh, uh, Hylia, I'm going to make, uh, my new friend is the horn statue. He just spends all his time defrauding the monks of their spirit orbs. But what other things doth say upon mind? I guess I've been giving Pokemon Unite another chance. I'm in the hilarious situation where casual games, the normal quick play, feels much more intense and scary than ac the ranked mode. And I don't know why. I just think that's hilarious. Granted, I'm not in the super duper upper echelon. How does Pokemon Unite play? Decently. It is a bit odd to do, like, uh, play a MOBA with a controller. So sometimes you'll want to be shooting at one Pokemon, but because it's, like, uh, the, like, auto attack and stuff, it's a bit odd, but you can get used to it, and it's pretty fun. Kind of frustrating at times, but... Eh, what can you do? It's a MOBA. That's all MOBAs in the end. There will always be frustration when one plays a MOBA. Please don't see me, oh all seeing eye of hell. All seeing eye of hell go home. Even the moblins fear this bastard. Even moblins fear him! Yeah, when it comes to, like, free-to-play games, my mind, like, goes all over the place on criteria and stuff. Like... Please don't see me. I hear you, but I don't want to be the object of your eye. But yeah, Pokemon Unite is quite fun, but it doesn't feel like there's much to earn aside from the Pokemon themselves to play as in the MOBA, since it's like a free-to-play game and all. There's not really that many earnable cosmetics for the actual Pokemon to play as, so rewards feel kind of sparse sometimes. But eh, it's a MOBA. <laughs> Pay to win? Uh, not really. The only, like... Actually, I don't think so. 
Granted, I haven't really looked at what the paid stuff offers, but pay to win on... Because basically how it functions is you can get uh, orbs to then buy the Unite license so that you can play as the Pokemon, but that's like any MOBA. League of Legends also does that. But you can also earn the in-game like coin currency decently quickly to also buy the Unite uh, licenses. The only part that could be construed as pay-to-win is the item system because uh, I don't think you... Like, yeah, you can't use the in-game, like, paid currency to buy the items, and I don't think you can directly buy the, like... Because uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Basically, your Pokemon can hold three items that, like, up its stats so that you can have... Like, uh, better... Like, you can have better, like, health, special attack, normal attack. Some items might give you a boost after scoring for a bit. And stuff like that. And you can upgrade them. When it comes to actually buying the item itself, it can only be bought with, like, earnable currency. You cannot get it with the payable currency, so there's that. Uh, but since I'm not too into the, like, payable aspect, I don't know if there's a way to directly get, like, a, a certain type of ticket, which you can then use to get the uh, items that will upgrade the held items in combat. Because those held items can be upgraded to level 30, uh, Increasing, like, how much health, special attack, and stuff that they give you. And, uh, the only way to upgrade the held items is if you, uh, get a specific item that can be, like, uh, then turned in to upgrade one held item. So it'd be, like, uh, turn in five diddly D's and it will go to level two. Seven diddly D's, it'll go to level three, and so on. One second, I'm gonna sneeze, because bleh. <laughs> Excuse me. But, uh, the, po the, the price of the, uh, um, the amount of upgradable currency stuff like, uh, goes up and up each time to the point that you need hundreds of the little uh, upgrade tokens to be able to then upgrade your held item for uh, combat. And there is a way to get the uh, upgrade tokens with little, like, earnable currency. And I think, like, things like the battle pass might make it easier to get that earnable currency, but I don't think that there's, like, a direct way to just buy the upgrade currency stuff. How dare you not die to Ganon's Blight. Inflation going insane in the Pokemon universe. In the Pokemon in, uh, Unite universe indeed. But yeah, but lately there's also been, like, uh, on the nice side at least, there it's somewhat easy to, like, get various, like, boosts and stuff, so you get more coins. There is a, uh, like, a kind of, uh, I'm trying to think of how to word it, like, uh, when you play the game, you get, like, energy that you can then spend, uh, to get, like, some cosmetics. It's not a lot of cosmetic, though. And it's, like, a small pool of cosmetics at that. Which is slightly disappointing. But... Really, I think that's the only real bad thing about... Uh, Unite is that there isn't really a good way to earn cosmetics that isn't RNG. Oh, 
Although they're like, yeah, it's it's just hard because it is typical free to play video game with lots of earnable currencies. Some of them are harder to get than others. Some of them are used for certain things than others. So it's just like, it can be a lot. I personally still enjoy it, but it does indeed have its flaws. When it's fun, it's fun. When it's frustrating because of your teammates, it's frustrating because of your teammates. But it's that, that, that's MOBA. I'm not sure, like, compared to, like, say... League of Legends, how it compares free-to-play-wise. Because in League of Legends, there is, like, opportunity to earn cosmetics. Like, if you get an S rank in a match, you can earn a chest. And you can earn a certain amount of chests. And they, uh... And then those, like, uh... The system in, like, League is... Oh, uh, darn. Like it. The system in League is every season you can earn an S rank on each playable character to earn a chest, but then they added the restriction that you can only earn a certain number of S ranks like uh, a week, I think it is. And slowly the like uh, S rank chest like re recharges. And then if you are a good player, as in a good player to your teammates, they can, like, recommend you and commend you and stuff and uh, get enough of that, you earn some keys that you can then use to open the s rank chests. It's just a lot. Free-to-play games, man. Free to play games, they hurt your soul sometimes. Ah, Silver Ruby! Huzzah! How dare you hurt me? MOBA will MOBA. Yep. That is the world of free to play MOBA games. Get into the muck. Get into the die. Well, that's a good shield. But at the same time, I have a lot of good shields. I was trying to think of how I'm supposed to fucking climb this. Unless I can climb through the gunk, which I don't think I can do. Meh. But yeah, I guess to round about back to the initial thought, no, I do not think that Pokemon Unite is pay to win. Like most others, it is generally paid for cosmetics. Although there probably is a finagly way of pay them money and then the battle pass will give you greater access to the some to like uh, certain tokens that can then be turned into at the store to then get the upgrade tokens a bit better but eh, that's free to play nonsense such is the way afraid to play nonsense i want to climb the gunk though game let me climb the gunk i'll have to make more recovery dillies Let's see. I guess what other games am I playing lately? Really, I'm mostly just uh, replaying uh, Legends Arceus. Because I do enjoy Legends Arceus. It's just such a fantastic game. I like that it's a change of pace from the other Pokemon games. It brings an odd feeling of nostalgia that it's 
like focusing on the act of catching Pokemon, which is hilarious. Long after they have basically dropped the gotta catch them all saying, they're like, well, let's throw in a game where that is literally the purpose. Ah, we gotta redrain, re recharge our stamina. And again, I really, really hope that they at least slightly take from Legends Arceus and make more games that are similar enough to it. Because it's just such a really good flow and feel to it. Then again, it also has aspects of Isekai. It's connected to Pokemon Generation 4, which is probably my favorite generation. Has unique characters. It's just very good. Give me the information, Teardrop. Tell me the world's knowledge. Tell upon me its tears. So what this is teaching me is that we need to make the world cry, and then we will have information. Spotless logic. And once again, my brain wanders to, it would be hilarious if they made a Hisui-based Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, and Emmett got dragged there as a Pokemon. That way, both of the brothers are in Hisui, but just different ones. We gotta torture the train men. Because that's how we play the game. <laughs> Somehow, the most anime of Pokemon games. Probably. Although, maybe that could go to, like, uh, what is it? One of the... Harsh game. Because that could potentially go... No. No, you don't. No, you don't, motherfucker. No, you don't. No. 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 I refuse. You're not going to kill me. Uh, I woke up in another world as a Gardevoir, the manga. <laughs> that could just be, like, Mystery Dungeon. There literally was a manga. You could say, woke up in another world as a Torchic. I want to go home. Getting my ass kicked? Just looking for orange on the horizon. In case there are any diddly -dees. I heard more static shock. And it scared me for a moment. It was like, oh no, it's coming for me again. We gotta fly away from here. Gotta fly away in fear. And then maybe we can check out that that round platform. I think it has to do with a long overarching side quest that I never did because I stopped playing the game five billion years ago. I can't see shit through this rain. But that also brought back the uh, uh, thought. I would really like if there were more games set in the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon world. But maybe weren't the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon gameplay style. Because as a fan of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, I will fully admit... Uh, I... I play it for the story, mostly. When it comes to the dungeons and the ever-increasing difficulty... I just kind of go, eh. The gameplay is to drive my aesthetic, the vibes, and the story to me when it comes to the Mystery Dungeon games. The gameplay is still fine. It's just not the best. But it would be very interesting if they... Oh, and also, while you ramble on about Pokemon Mystery Dungeon for five million years, remember to stay hydrated. Hydration is important. But that's why I think it would be really cool if they made another game in the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon world, or even just a world where it's just dominated by Pokemon and the player character is a Pokemon, and it was a different gameplay style. I just think that would be neat. A minor test in strength? Okay, we're gonna kill this motherfucker. But, like, wouldn't it be interesting? Also, what if we had, like, a reverse uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? 
and it was a Pokemon from a world where there are no heroes. Uh, heroes. A Pokemon from a world where there are no humans, or humans are long extinct, and they get thrust into the normal, like, game or anime world. And there are humans abound, and they're like, oh no, these humans are trying to enslave me. And it basically becomes, like, Pokemon Metal Gear Solid. I think that would be neat. Just do crazy shit with spin-off games, Pokemon. Go crazy! Have some fun! Like, I'm gonna have killing this motherfucker. Getting drive-by shot again! It's like every single time I run into these, like, oh, it's a minor test of strength. It won't do that much. And then it's just like, oh, no. Uh, oh, I've been hit. Damn you. Facing the reality of Pokemon being slavery is a bold concept. Eh. Kind of, sort of. They did tackle it in Pokemon Black and White, I believe. With Team Plasma. Uh, well, really, the I think most of Team Plasma, it's just a front, but with one character, M, he fully believes that Pokemon should be free of humans, that humans and Pokemon should live separately, because then it would be better for the Pokemon to live their own lives. And I think it explores the concept that Pokemon and humans are partners. And, like, again, battling Pokemon is and catching them is essentially... The Pokemon testing the trainer's will and strength. Are you worthy to wield me? And basically, all the Pokemon that are in battling are basically little blood knights. They enjoy battling. And like, uh, it's just that it's hard to, like, convey that nuance through the video game where every Pokemon needs to be catchable for the player. Because, like, it's even explored in, like, the anime where not every Pokemon likes to be in a Pokeball 24-7. So they prefer to walk about with the player. And that's also even kind of touched on in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Where the Diamond Clan and Pearl Clan feel like the Pokeballs kind of infringe upon the Pokemon as it doesn't let them wander around freely. It's just, like... Like, there are things that you can go with, like, th that have already been established in the world of Pokemon. It's just that they don't really go into it all that much, because the games are kind of simple. I think that's... that's either the... no, that can't be the Horse Shrine. It's probably another Fairy Shrine, and they're gonna want all my goddamn money. But yeah, there's just a lot they could do with Pokemon. Pokemon games, Pokemon side games. I just think that there's a lot they could do and it would be cool if they actually did it. And now I'm reminded that I really should get back to writing my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fanfic. I have bold ideas for it. It's just sitting down and writing is difficult because brain. My brain looked at that rock, and because of, like, the shadows the lightning gave, it looked like a Hinnok <laughs> brain. Indeed. I only just recently posted my first art in weeks, I think, because brain just got in the way. I want to... I... Okay, we'll get close. And we're... Time for danger mining. Danger mining... I guess I could just blow it up. Might not get everything, but meh. But yeah, I'm just a big fan of Pokemon. And I feel like it would be cool if they explored more. Which they can. They can explore more. There's more that they can do. It would just be cool. If they did. Now, that that makes me think, because, like, what if they went to Marvel and just, like, here's the Pokemon Black label for rated R Pokemon stories. We'll bring back the Pokemon zombies from the manga. Seriously, how the hell did that happen? Here, fairy. Fairy is mine. Who needs Mifa when I have fairies? That's a joke, Mifa. You are a waifu. Do not leave me. Honestly, I could probably say that about Mifa and she would stick around because she's such a good, good folk. Hey, 
I was wondering about these. I was just like, what are you? You are uh, Korok. Why? Well then! Oh, great fairy, would you like a donation? Boy, sweet boy, please listen to my story. I am the great fairy Misha. This place was once a beautiful spring, but as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my powers abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. Fucking 500, I don't have that much money late. Oh, I do. Okay, fine, you can have them. I don't know what I'll get out of it. Uh, future proof, go ahead, have my money. So many 100 rupee chests to all go away. No more clothes for me. Do you fucking eat the rupees? How does that give you power? Teach me the ways of being a money muncher. Is this, Do you come from the world of Yakuza, where you literally pour the money into yourself, invest in yourself, and become stronger? Mm, so you're the one who released me. I was expecting someone bigger. Rude. But a slim little lad like you will do just fine, yes? You heard it here first, everybody. The great fairies are into twinks. Thanks to you, my power has been returned to me. And I think you'll agree a good deed deserves a good reward. I can enhance your clothing, but I require the necessary materials to do it. With the power availed to me, I can enhance a clothing a fair amount. Enhance away. Mm, it seems that I should have enough to do like some of these. I always wear the pants, so we'll upgrade that. Uh, we probably won't have enough stealth diddly d for. All, all of it, but... Oh, well. Hmm. Enhance away! Oh, that's for Silent Princess, so I can do them all! Oh, no. I, I looked at the wrong one. I looked at the wrong thing because they moved the inventory around, and I thought, oh, maybe I can, but in actuality, I probably can't. <laughs> La 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 la. I need more nightshade to murder people. Aww. So long for now, I suppose. Once you have some clothing you want to upgrade, come back any time. See you later. <laughs> I'll need to mark you on the map so that I eternally know. Important. But yes, distracted by, uh, I guess, a Korok puzzle that then almost led me to my death. And then the Great Fairy. What the hmm? I guess to quickly jump back a bit, I mentioned it briefly. My want to have a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game set in the Hisui region, or a Hisui-inspired Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I just think it would be funny again if Emmett got drawn into an alternate version of Hisui. One one brother gets dragged across space, and, and the other gets dragged across time. It would just be amusing to me. And... I thought those trees were guardians for a moment. But... One thing of note is, there is a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fan game, like, editor now. I don't want to bother with you. I want to just see what's over here. But, like, there is an, like, a, a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon editor thing, so you can, like, edit existing things or make your own Mystery Dungeon fan game. All right, why is there just a statue all alone? Well, I guess I might as well upgrade once. 
while I'm here. Give me more health. I need it to get the Master Swordsman. <laughs> Imagine if you're like, you're not trying to get the Master Sword. You're trying to find a Master Swordsman. And even then, it isn't because he himself is a master at wielding swords. He is a master at being a sword. Oh no, stepbrother. I am stuck in the stone and I'm also a sword. Please help. But back to my original thought, because I just keep getting bitten off track, apparently. I, at this point, I am fairly convinced that I have to have ADHD on some level, I swear. Brain just ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong. Oftentimes, my brain also goes like, here's this initial thought. And then without saying anything, ping pongs around until it's five degrees away on something else. It's like an internalized seven degrees of Kevin Bacon, but my own conversational topics. Oh no, Step Hero, I'm corrupted with malice and need to be pierced by your blade. So essentially, the lusty Argonian maid. But... Isekai, I guess. Are you a traveler? Or are you a good? Either way, I'll probably kill you. You're a traveler. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, you mistook me for a Gerudo. No worries. For some reason, it happens all the time. No idea why. Maybe because I'm traveling in search of true love. I'm single and ready to mingle, but my love of monsters scares people. Oh. If you go north from here, you'll find the East Akala Stables. I've, I hear there are some strong monsters along the way. Just thinking about such strong monsters gives me goosebumps. So even in the world of Hyrule, there are monster fuckers. But... <laughs> Same girl, same. <laughs> and now I'm suddenly reminded of the werewolf boyfriend post on Tumblr that got nuked from orbit and so had to be recreated by typing backwards. And it was just this concerted effort by multiple users to recreate this banned post as if it came from the mirror world. That's Tumblr for you. But to jump back to my initial thoughts before ADHD took over, I guess. Since there is indeed, like, um, a modding tool to make your own Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fan game, my brain then said, hey, what if you yourself... Oh no, that's Bone Hinnock. I can probably take you. Maybe. Awaken, bitch. Oh, I guess you can only waken at night. Well, I guess I can always mark it on the map. Bastard here. But again, back to thought that I got distracted from. Again. <laughs> it's the brightest sun time. <laughs> Don't attack me, wolves, and you will live. Apparently, if you... <laughs> Hey man, how's your health care? Apparently it's great! Well, you better not waste meat. But again, since there is a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon editing tool that can be used to make fan dungeons and fan games, my brain told me, hey, why don't you go and make a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fan game of that, like, idea you had? where Emmett gets thrown to a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Hisui-type world. The problem is, that would require effort. And uh, my brain is in a constant loop of, my skill's not good enough, but I don't get good unless I do. But if I do something, I want it to be of actual quality, so people will, like, super enjoy it and stuff. But who knows? It is in the back of my mind of, maybe someday I will do this. And it also gave me the idea, which I just remembered because I had forgotten it, but there's also the idea of, like, uh, what if there was a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, but instead of it being, like, a self-insert, which, on the one hand, that's kind of a big point of the Mystery Dungeon games, is that they, like, allow you to put yourself in the player character's shoes. 
So it all becomes the more emotional when the emotional gut punches come to punch you in the gut. But what if it was like those special episodes where it, like, told a unique story? <laughs> I know I see you again. I think that technically makes you my stalker. <laughs> but seriously, you're going to have to ask you to stop following me around. Oh, my kitty. I love the attention. You're a hilarious little man, Beetle. You are a hilarious little man. Um, I am not going to pay for anything because I lost all my money to the Sheik. Not the Sheik. The bitch. Oh, hey, Picongo. Colorful leaves gently falling. A fort that fell to the great calamity. Unspeakable sorrow surrounds the landscape. Hey, we meet again. Are you out traveling? I've traveled all over the world. If you have a picture to show me, show it to me already. Ah. Hmm, I know I've seen that spring and that goddess statue before. There's a place like this at the ruins in North Akala Valley, to the west of here. Thank you, man. Hmm. West Akala Valley. Oh, I'm going to assume that it is this, so we will mark that. Oh, yeah. Hello! Welcome to the East Arcula Stable, the premier stable of the East. By the way, good sir, the outside is crunchy while the inside is chewy. Take one bite and your energy will go through the roof. Go on, try one of our Arcula buns. They're del a delicacy straight from the East Arcula Stable. Sounds yummy. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, one thing, Arcula buns go bad fast since they're made of fresh ingredients, so you'll have to eat it here. That way we can ensure its quality, okay? No. Oh, see, <laughs> see you around. <laughs> Hello, sol soldier man. It sure is raining a lot. I've been on patrol duty lately. The name's Hawes. Hey, jeez, it's gotten dangerous around here lately. It has. Oh. Yes. Recently, I've been hearing about a suspicious guy named Kilton. He runs a shop called Fang and Bone. They say he goes around and, and pushing some kind of cart night after night. Mm. He's been making people around here uncomfortable with his suspicious and otherworldly activity. Do you know Kilton? No, I don't. Ooh. I see. Well, if you do see any suspicious people, please tell me what they look like in detail. Really, if you see this Kilton character, please tell me all the juicy details. I'm counting on you. Why do I get the feeling he just wants to find Kilton himself? But back on to thoughts. But yeah, eventually, once my skill grows decently, I might just have to make that Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, but it's Emmett lost in Hisui. In a Pokemon, the Pokemon history, not the human history. I just think it would be amusing. And then comes the decision that should it be like, uh, ah, huh. we we'll play the hell out of that. I'll have to draw more Sneasels then. Time to play uh, uh, Hylian Golf. But yeah, I'll definitely need to... Don't tell me. Well, then where is it? <laughs> For a moment, I thought maybe I... accidentally knocked the ball all the way over here. But yeah, I'll need to draw more. And just, like, get more practice in. Because, yeah, that sounds like a fun project to do. Come on, come on. Do I have to, like, get off? So, that, so yeah, that's kind of weird. I have to get off it so that I can respawn the ball, I suppose. Take that, monk. I think they got that one. I did it too hard. This really is golf. But I've already, uh, like, drawn one Sneasel and one Sneasler. I'll just need to draw more Pokemon in general. Oh, that was too hard as well. If they don't want me to hit it that hard, why do they have a giant hammer? You motherfucker. <laughs> Sneezette. Nah, I think it's just Sneasler. All of them are. Wonderful lady Sneasler. 
There we go. Motion controls are very finicky, but at the same time, they are unique and interesting, at least. Wait. I see you. There's treasure behind here. Behind more motion controls, but I... Kind of wish that it just respawned on its own, not forcing me to do that over and over again. You better not. <laughs> if it, like, tumbled out on its own, then it really would have been golf. I have to wait for it to actually activate, or else I fear it would reset. Here I come, my beloved treasure chest. What's in it? 1,000 rupees. I'm rich. Great Frost Blade. Well, what weapon is being absconded today? Hmm. Well, I guess you. Goodbye. Fear the Ice Blade, the Blade of Ice. And now we know that Link can wield true ice. He's from the Frail Yord. He just now needs to grow a beard. Although now that's kind of a hilarious image. Olaf from League of Legends, but he's a twink. Come here and give me your soul. Seriously, how, with this many monks that can just sit there like that, you wonder, like, why weren't you out fighting Calamity Ganon? If you can stave off old age like that, why don't you meditate after taking a mortal wound? We'll just turn you into a guardian. Make Hylian Robocop. Although I guess that's technically what, like... Tears of the Kingdom kind of is, isn't it? Well, I guess that that shall... Oh, it's the Goron Dude. <laughs> I was wondering why there were two big backpacks back to back. Goron Dude, wait, I want to talk to you. The other day, a Gerudo woman talked to me on the road. She was from the Gerudo region in the southwest. She was so pretty, her hair was as shiny as stone. Yeah, I guess that would <laughs> that would be beauty standards to a Goron. But shrine marked. But I do believe that that should. <laughs> do you want infinite jumps? Says YouTube chat. Not right now. <laughs> Mostly because I'm gonna be ending the stream now. Because we've been going for about three hours, and I don't want to keep going more, 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 more. That's that's the way of madness. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. We did good today. We beat Varuta. We went through the Zora's Domain. We've done a ton of shrines. Have a wonderful night. Thank you very much, Twitch chat. But if you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels and an edited content ch YouTube channel. I swear, content is coming eventually. I just need to battle my brain. And then also this... Uh, streaming YouTube channel. The edited content one is Neon Icy Wings, and the streaming one is Neon Icy Games, where not only do I stream live, but I also upload all of the archived footage just for, like, posterity and, like, backlog that people can watch if they so want. So if people want to see me react to the Mass Effect trilogy, they can! But if you prefer to watch on Twitch.tv, even if Twitch.tv itself is trying to kill itself with its ad policies regarding creators, dear god Twitch, I have a Twitch channel at Twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings. And then if you want more things from me, like my little avatar in the corner, I also upload art to various social medias, Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Inkblot, so many places, Newgrounds, and links to all of them can be found in my link tree, which can be found in descriptions, bios, and link places all over, but it should be a linktr.ee slash neonicywings. 
as well as links to my Patreon and writing places, I believe. Diddly D, the world is mad. But yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes later next time. Bye-bye.